In the previous module, we reviewed mechanical completion, and pre-commissioning starts up after mechanical completion. Mechanical pre-commissioning includes flushing and cleaning any piping systems, and pressure testing and leak testing to make sure that all mechanical piping is intact. Any rotating equipment, such as motors or pumps, is bump tested, which means it's rotated for the first time, and current draw measured, flow rates measured, and pressure limits verified. Any rotating equipment may then have an initial run-in time, where the pump or motor is left running for several hours to verify correct operation. Electrical pre-commissioning includes energization of each equipment rack, and confirming communication links are functioning correctly both between cubicles inside the plant and with facilities outside the plant. During control and protection pre-commissioning, the logic or code that was tested during factory acceptance testing is uploaded to all equipment cubicles and protection settings are applied to protection devices. These protection settings will come from protection coordination studies that were completed by your engineering group. As each portion of pre-commissioning is completed, your pre-commissioning checklist will be completed and results gathered into test reports. The consultant subject matter expert or client may choose to witness portions of pre-commissioning as well. As deficiencies are identified during pre-commissioning, they are added to the previous punch list for mechanical completion, each is categorized, and all type A deficiencies are rectified. This is one of the topics covered in my three-day mini course on commissioning and startup. To get started with the full course, please go to commissioningandstartup.com where you can sign up for free. My name is Paul Turner and I want to help you survive and thrive in your commissioning career.